YouTube, what's up? This is Mixtape. I got two back-to-back -back good games for you guys. This is going to be the start of a two-part video. I got four straight wins with me and this random guy. We balled out. And please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, as you see, we starting right into it. Um, for my 2K players, one thing I do like to do is play a lot of two-on-two -two because with two-on-two, -two, there's a lot of spacing on the court. Like right here, this team was pretty good, man. I can't, I can't lie. Having a big on the court, especially, you know, when they have some sort of an idea of what to do, it can make things a lot difficult, a lot more difficult. Rebounds, um, I could get a hand up to a lot of your shots, different things like that. And with that being the case, depending on how much, you know, that other player uses this big, it could kind of make it tough. You see this dude, he, he loved to, you know, do little crazy animations after a shot is made and stuff. And so, you know, I'm just over here trying to help my team out, get the ball, play good defense, win the game. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got to be patient with it. A lot of times I feel like a, these teams, they don't really have an idea of what they want to do. Or if they do, they're not really good. And so as soon as stuff don't go their way, they start kind of losing their their patience and stuff. And as you guys will see later in the video, when they start losing, I could tell they kind of start tripping a little bit. And that's one thing that you shouldn't want to do. You got to keep composure. Play your game. Trust trust that your game plan is your is the right game plan that's gonna win. Make a game plan and stick with that game plan. And right now, I mean, I'm not saying that they have to pass it to the big every time, but I don't see why not. He's gonna dominate on the inside. I would give it to him until you know they stop it. But nevertheless, I said. This is the start of our little four-game win streak. I didn't know how this dude played. Uh, he turned out to be a real good player, as you guys will see later on in this video, as well as the next video that follows. Um, he turned out to be a real good dude. He got skills, and um, I tried to tell him that in messages, and um, he didn't want to accept a friend request or join the YouTube fam so I just let him do his thing but I enjoy playing with him so if he is watching I appreciate it playing with you and you know hopefully we can run it back more I don't know what it was about that spot right there I, it shows that it's a hot spot for me but I couldn't buy a bucket in that left corner spot man it was a real tough day over there running two centers that's kind of crazy lineup but you know whatever works for them I guess before this game is over I wanted to talk about the finals you know right now today is Monday um, everybody was talking about how Jimmy Butler had a good game and he did you know they're down 2-1 he did everything that they expected him to do. He had all-time historic finals game. We'll see how that translates to, you know, them possibly getting the, the title or the championship, whatever you want to call it, Larry O'Brien. But um, I don't know. He played a great game, though, 40-point triple-double. He played more minutes than LeBron, got more points, got more rebounds, got more assists. The first player to ever do that in the finals game, let alone statistical game like that against LeBron. That says a lot about LeBron. I mean, I'm not a LeBron hater. Uh, he's on the Lakers, and, you know, he's 
a key reason on why we're here in the finals. Him making that decision to want to go to the Lakers is really the start of why the Lakers are in the finals now. Um, but I don't know. That's that's a pretty remarkable feat that Jimmy Butler did, and we'll see what happens game four. I think game four will be good. I mean, I, I, want, my, I want the Lakers to win. I'm a diehard fan of them. But it wouldn't be bad if it went five games, you know, and it would be a lot closer than the first two was. Um, who knows what type of defensive things they're going to do to Anthony Davis or LeBron or if they're just going to focus more on Anthony Davis. Uh, he had a terrible game in my eyes. Game three, not really getting the rhythm, getting into foul trouble quickly, um, not playing that great. And, you know, you can't really expect that from somebody that's trying to win the finals. Just to me, it was like he laid an egg. So, you know, we got to be better than that. But we'll see. It does make it a little bit more entertaining that they didn't just fold and let them go 3-0 rather than just, you know, just take it. So... We'll see what happens there. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen next year. If there's any big time free agent offseason moves and free agency, who gets drafted where. If you have any ideas of anything, comment. Let me know. I have no problem commenting back or replying to anybody's comments. I don't think I've left anybody hanging in my comment box yet. I mean, let's talk basketball. Let's talk sports. Um, who knows what's going to happen in free agency? Who knows if some of the teams that didn't really make too much noise get get a certain player and they make more noise. Uh, this is pretty much the end of it. Oh, boy, ended it for me. And I'll continue this little talk into the next game. Appreciate you guys sticking with me through it. Here we go. All right, so here's game two. Um, I wanted to show you guys their ratings to let you know that you know I'm not playing against just bums or anything a lot of these players are rated higher than me I don't know what their badges look like but as far as their overall rating if they didn't buy VC or anything they're rated higher than me so it's not like I'm just playing against anybody um, but yeah this this game I wanted to make sure that my teammate Got as many open looks as he could because he had a, a big on him. And the big isn't going to be able to chase him around the whole game. That big ends up coming back in another game, changes clothes and everything, and comes back and tries to get a win. I thought it was funny. But you guys will see it in the next in the next video. Make sure to look out for that. It should come today, but if something happens, it'll be here tomorrow. But just a great shot. My guy is a playmaking shot creator. If you didn't see my first first 2K21 video. So he's going to get Hall of Fame badges in playmaking as well as shooting. Which is pretty much what everybody's aiming for in 2K right now. To be as close to Steph Curry as possible. Um, this build turned out to be good. I've always been one, if I could have shared my videos previous, you would have seen it. I've always been a fan of shooting. Um, I've always built sharpshooter um, players. Uh, last year was probably the only one that I didn't um, do where his shot was just money. 
this one is and I think the year before as well his shot wasn't completely cash it was good but it wasn't nearly as good as this one is but man I always have been a, a guy that's loved shooting just getting open running open and just playing free as you see in this game I'm just killing him this guy doesn't know what to do a lot of the times I like to I like to uh, get the ball somewhere either at the corner of the three or you know right at the elbow free throw line area give my guy a pick here and there if he seems like he needs it or whatever sometime i create like that i mean i'm just taking this guy to the rack simple moves and now that i'm hot everybody know what time it is it's time for mixtape to mix them up hence the name mixtape moments here's my time to make a mixtape uh I appreciate you guys watching with me, rocking with me. I really do appreciate you guys. I love y'all. You guys are awesome for following and supporting me. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I'm out. Peace, y'all.